Alrighty, let's go to Falcons, <laughs> Falcons and Chargers, and folks, the battle of the two teams that will blow leads, that will not finish games, and it went exactly how you would think. Chargers cannot win a close game to save their lives. Falcons, they'll blow a lead, they'll blow all their chances, they don't care, they'll do it in the Super Bowl, they'll do it week three, they'll do it week four, they'll do it week 15, it doesn't matter, they will blow leads, and this is how the game went down. So, we're going to watch basically the final fourth quarter of the game um, we're gonna start here with this kind of um, Eagles or the Falcons drive this game is tied 17 17 Let, let's set up the scene when we get there um, but let's look at this kind of Falcons drive they were going on a decently long drive just to kind of ice the game get the game winning kick or just kind of walk off touchdown let's get this one queued up in the fourth quarter then we'll set the scene all righty 8.54 left in the game, tied at 17-17. Falcons have the ball at the 41-yard line. Who's going to clutch this game up? Who's going to do it? Nice little deep ball here to Gage Jr., they say incomplete out of bounds. Let's see if we get a nice replay here. Let's see what we get. Judges, officials are conferring over there on the sideline. I mean, this is a beautiful ball. Holy cow, that is a beautiful ball. That is a great kind of catch. He gets one foot down, never gets a second one in bounds. Unfortunate. So I believe that one is incomplete. I agree. All righty, Matt Ryan. Here we go, second and 10. We're not even really kind of looking for anything. We're just looking at the total meltdown of these two teams' meltdown. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> Maybe we get some good Matt Ryan plays, but he will uh, he always ends up beefing it. He's good from about the 30 to about the 40. That's when he's good from his own 30 to the 40, and then everything breaks down when he starts getting, you know, over midfield and getting into, uh, you know, the, uh, the enemy's territory. All right, third and two. They roll out Matt Ryan, and he decides to take it all the way, picks it up himself. Well done. Keeps the clock moving. First and 10. Keeps the drive alive. Looks like they handed it off here. Got nothing. We're just kind of getting waiting for these interceptions to start coming. So we'll go through these very quickly, these plays. Second and 11, Matt Ryan. What do you got? A little dink there. The Calvin Ridley picks up one, if any. If any. Third and 11 now. Let's see how they pick this up. Nice little slant there. Goes to Gage Jr. I mean, folks, this offense works better without Julio on the field. I don't get it. It shouldn't, but it kind of works a little better without him. I mean, Matt Ryan doesn't go to Julio Jones like 15 times a game anyway. So, even though he should be. What was that little stat? What is this? Most receptions. Most touchdown receptions through three through the first three seasons in team history, and Calvin Ridley's got five more than Julio Jones. Calvin Ridley's real great, folks. We've been saying that for a couple weeks now, basically since the start of the season. But hey, um, all right, first and ten, and the Falcons are driving out this clock. I mean, this started at like eight forty-five. Now it's at five fifty, taking off time. You know, running out this clock. This should have just been a setup game-winning kind of walk-off field goal, but they beef it because Matt Ryan is one of the most unclutch quarterbacks I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, we clown Baker Mayfield and Josh Allen, but they actually win games. They're winning more games than uh, Matt Ryan is. Yes, you got to the Super Bowl, but you beefed it there as well. Nice little pickup on third and three. This Chargers defense, I mean, this is what we're saying here. This Chargers team cannot get Atlanta off the field to save their lives. Multiple third down conversions here for Atlanta. This Chargers team, man, they're kind of sorry, folks. For all their talent, they're kind of sorry. I chuck it up as a head coach, but y'all know what I'm saying there. Fire Anthony Lynn. I think it's time, unfortunately. Alrighty, so the Falcons keep on driving here. They're driving even more. They're eating more time off the clock. It looks like the Chargers, no, they're not using their timeouts just quite yet. Second and seven, Matt Ryan goes to the end zone. Incomplete. No chance there. Wow, they get bailed out. What do they call? No, they call holding on the offense. All right, thought they were going to get bailed out there. Oh, here it is, folks. Here it is. Here it is after the penalty. 
The interception by the Chargers. Finally, the bend but don't break of the Chargers. Let's see it. Matt Ryan. I mean, he's just dinking and dunking. The defense reads it, predicting it, sits on it, jumps the route. And now the Chargers, finally, they have the ball with three minutes left in a tie game. But that is not safe, folks. This Chargers team, they can blow it as well. We know they can. So let's see Justin Herbert blow it himself as well. Here we go, second and 10. Let's see what the Chargers are doing. First down, didn't pick up anything. Second down, let's see what we get. Justin Herbert, little out route there. Great completion there, picks up the first down. After the first down pickup, Justin Herbert. Nice little play action. Gets it out to his receiver quickly, picks up about three. Second and six, Justin Herbert hands it off. And look at Austin Eckler go. Picks up the first down. Very well done. I mean, I'm telling you, they got pieces offensively, folks. Justin Herbert, Austin Eckler. Um, you've got, uh, who, who's their wide receiver? Um, I'm forgetting the big name. Um, Keenan Allen. I mean, folks, they've got the weapons. They just cannot close out games. Luckily, they were able to get, you know, close out this one, but still, they probably shouldn't have. We'll see it coming up very soon, whether it's this play or the next play. Justin Herbert, two-minute warning. Not going to throw the interception here. They hand it off. Justin Herbert, second and one. Hands it off again. It picks up nothing. Dang, so a huge third and one here to keep the drive moving, to put them into field goal position, to really kind of ice this game third and one. Who do they trust more, their quarterback or running back? They trust their quarterback. And it's intercepted. He tries to hit the slant route over the middle, and it's just picked off. Let's see if we get a nice little replay of this to kind of see where he puts this ball. Looks like it was a little bit too much inside where the defender was able to kind of get a hand on it and rip it out of the receiver's hands. Let's see. I mean, he was going to Keenan Allen. This is his, you know, his moneymaker, his number one wide receiver. Let's see this play. Hopefully we get a nice replay of it. It was kind of hard to see from the angle that we got, but uh, it looked like he, it was just kind of ripped away from Keenan Allen. And we don't even get a replay? What is that? What is that? You don't replay this? We don't get a replay? That looked like it was just maybe a little, little bit too much inside. We're going to have to try and see this one ourselves, unfortunately. We'll put this one in slow-mo, see if we can zoom in. Can we zoom in here? Let's see what we get. Keenan Allen, here he is, right here, waiting for the ball. Yeah, that's just too much inside. That's just too much inside. So not great placement there by um, Justin Herbert. Unfortunate. So an interception. I mean, folks, folks, folks. The Chargers basically blew the game here. They had it kind of almost wide open for themselves to just kind of pick up that first down and just kick the game-winning field goal. Don't like the pass there. I would have ran it again most likely. Maybe even a QB sneak. I mean, Justin Herbert, he's big, folks. He can QB sneak a full yard. All right, here we go. All right, so now Matt Ryan, he has another opportunity here. 17, 17, 47 seconds left. Great field position. Starting at your own 38-yard line. Don't need that many yards to you know pick up to get the game-winning field goal. You have Young Wei Koo, who's automatic from 55 onward. He can hit him. So, oh, yeah, we get a great angle here. Yeah, this is just too much inside. You have to throw this one out in front here. He, this is He's just kind of sitting in a soft zone here. He wasn't even kind of expecting the ball. I mean, he was just kind of like, all right, he's not throwing to me. Oh, hang on, he is throwing to me. So, not great there. Um, all right, here we go. Second and 10, Matt Ryan incomplete on the first one. Now he comes back here, feels the pressure, dumps it off, and it's wide open, and it gets over into the Chargers territory. This should have been game over right here, folks. Should have been game over. You just kind of run these next couple one-two plays, pick up about five, seven yards, and now you've set yourself up with a game-winning field goal. But uh, Matt Ryan's got some other plans here for us. The blown lead king here. We've got the blown lead king in at the Falcons, the blown lead queen here with the Chargers. 
Here we go. Matt Ryan, first and 10. And what does he do? Once again, throws it too much inside. And it's easily picked off. Matt Ryan, come on. Again here, another interception. And the flag, it's not even. Oh. They say after the interception. Ooh, so the interception still stands. Look at you looking sick, Matt Ryan. Let's get this, you know, replay from the back end. You'll see this clear as day. Underthrown too much inside, folks. You throw this. If you're throwing it to the sideline, throw it to the sideline. That's how those passes get completed. They get intercepted when they're too much inside. And Matt Ryan just did it again here. Threw away the game twice, two times. Now, Justin Herbert, is he going to throw this game away again? Can he do it again? Can we have this much trash in one game? Let's see. Let's see what Justin Herbert here does. Can Anthony Lane finally get a hold on this team? Can they finally close out a game? Does it have to take, you know, the blown lead of the Falcons, the trashness of the Falcons, the unclutchness of the Falcons to finally push the Chargers over the edge of their own curse? All right, third and two. Here we go. 20 seconds left. Chargers still have two timeouts, so they can do whatever they want. Third and two. Looks like the Falcons are going to bring the pressure. They bail out last second. And that's how you throw a nice little screen or nice little um, uh, route over the middle in zone coverage. He puts it right on the money, uh, finds the soft spot of the zone. You love to see it. Alrighty, Justin Herbert at the 50, at the 50, 16 seconds left, one timeout. Once again, they can throw wherever they want in this field here. They've got the timeout. Justin Herbert slings it deep, and that is going to be game, folks. Look at this man, rookie quarterback. The moment is never too big for him. Look at this man go through this one 20, 30 yards down the field. Absolutely magnificent. They pick up that first down. They are, now they're in field goal position. I mean, they don't even need another to run another play. They're going to just to kind of set up the field goal kicker. It looks like he wanted it from the right hash. They were on the left hash. They run it all the way to the right. They take their final timeout. Let's see this man. 43-yard clutch kick attempt. Got him on the cash list. Let's see why. There it is, baby. Finally, finally, somebody that doesn't blow the game. Finally, it took the kicker. Took the kicker. Finally, we have a winner here, and the Chargers finally overcome, um, you know, their deficit, their blowing leads. They finally, uh, you know, overcome that curse while the Falcons are still having that curse, folks. Unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate. Matt Ryan, folks, he's not good. You got to move off of him. How unfortunate is that?